Happy Monday to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shea. We've made it to our big Thanksgiving holiday week, big travel week, big shopping week, big week of great food as well. Hopefully enjoying some nice meals with family, friends. Maybe you're going to stay in town, maybe you're heading out of town, but I wish you a happy holidays and safe travels if you are heading out of town. But of course, it may be close to Thanksgiving, but we still have about 10 days left in our 2023 hurricane season. So I'm here to update you on what we have out there. We do have a few systems that we are closely tracking. Let's start off in the Central Caribbean, and I am monitoring this area of potential development. This is a little area of low pressure. It's been looking fairly organized over the last 24 hours or so. It is expected to drift west over the next few days. You can see Puerto Rico here, San Juan there, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Jamaica off to the north and west. So it is going to continue sliding to the west in the Caribbean and we will have to monitor it. However, at this point, the chance for it to get stronger and become a tropical depression or tropical storm is on the low side. Here's the second area we're monitoring. This is in the West Central Atlantic, and this is Bermuda here. So this is just to the south and east of Bermuda. So this system not looking that organized now, only a low chance for development in the short term, but a better shot in the longer term over the next week. So back to the system in the Central Caribbean. This is the expected track or path, basically movement expected to be off to the west a 10 percent chance that we could have another tropical depression or tropical storm in the caribbean over the next two days and only a low shot 10 percent chance over the next seven days for a tropical system to develop so even though it's looking fairly organized now overall models are indicating that the chance for this blowing up into a big tropical storm or hurricane is not that great but of course we will continue to monitor it because anytime you have something in the caribbean that, of course, is a concern, and there's always that risk that it could make that northwest turn and come into the Gulf of Mexico, although right now, there looks like there's a higher likelihood that it will head closer to Central America instead of moving up into the Gulf. Here's our second system that we're monitoring. This one is in the West Central Atlantic. Chance for development over the next 48 hours, very low, 10% chance. It is tracking off to the south and east, so that would actually take it away from Bermuda and away from the east coast of the U.S., so that is some good news. However, as we go into the next week, there's a medium 40% chance that this could turn into tropical storm events or tropical depression. So that is certainly something we will continue to monitor. We've still got 10 days left in the season and we are keeping a close eye on things. Water temps out there are still definitely warm enough to sustain tropical development. We've got water temps in the low 80s for a big chunk of the Gulf of Mexico, a little bit cooler for the northern Gulf, but still central southern portions of the Gulf into the 80s. And we've got temperatures well into the 80s, especially for parts of the Caribbean middle 80s for the Eastern Caribbean. So that is certainly water warm enough to help to fuel these systems for a little bit longer. Hopefully though, they will start to wind down and end completely pretty soon. We only have about 10 days left in our hurricane season. Of course, hurricane season coming to an end around November 30th. So we are hoping that we can keep things fairly quiet, get rid of those last few systems and be done with it for this season. And we'll have to wait until next season to see what happens. But so far, even though we've had several named storms this season, we've been spared any direct hits from any of these tropical systems for Southeast Texas. So that is good news. But we have gotten all the way through many of the names, including Tammy, Sean, Rena, Philippe, Ophelia. We've got Vince and Whitney left. There's a medium chance we could have Vince in the Atlantic over the next week. So of course, we'll continue to monitor both of those potential systems, one in the Caribbean and one close to Bermuda in the Atlantic. But nothing heading here to Southeast Texas or to the Houston area for our big Thanksgiving holiday week. So that is certainly another thing to be thankful for as we go through this week. Make sure to grab our Fox 26 weather app, download that onto your phone so that you can have any type of tropical alerts that we may get. And even after hurricane season ends, you can get all of your local weather on there. You can track whatever is on radar. Anytime we get any severe thunderstorm watches, warnings, tornado watches, warnings, flood alerts, any of that stuff, you can get right on the Fox 26 weather app. Just make sure to turn the alerts on and you will have all of that info right at your fingertips as you're out enjoying yourselves across the city for this holiday season. Well, that will do it for this tropical update. Nothing heading towards the Texas area. Good news there. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade.